Okay, in this sentence equivalence, we have some tricky stuff going on. So let's read it first and then go through it. The ex-minister's real crime in the eyes of his political friends who subsequently abandoned him was not so much that he was wrong as that he raised questions that must not be raised. So here the clue is a little bit difficult to find. There's almost a misleading clue. That is, if you forget that the clue refers to the blank, you must always remember that the clue refers to the blank. The clue doesn't mean a, a bunch of words hanging out that you can say, oh, this means something important, and therefore the blank is whatever the clue is referring to. But if we look in the sentence here, we see who subsequently abandoned him was not so much that he was wrong as that he raised questions that must not be raised. Is that the clue? Is the blank saying, oh, we want, we want a word meaning you, you speak your mind, you raise questions that, not, that must not be raised? Well, wait a second. What's the blank referring to? The blank here is referring to or modifying political friends. What do we know about those friends? That's all the sentence equivalence is asking for. Well, we know that they subsequently abandoned him. So we need a word to say, oh, okay, well, at one time these were your political friends, but then subsequently right after you said this stuff, they abandoned you. And so our own word here could be one time. Our one time, my one time political friends no longer like me. They dumped me or they abandoned me. And that makes sense. Now, that may be the easy part. In fact, we can just say right away because one time is our own word and E is the word or the answer choice one time. We can, we can circle that. Now, what most people who get this wrong do is they go and they look at C. C is false. These friends are definitely false, right? They, they abandoned him. They weren't true friends. Okay, maybe, but was that our own word? Again, if the, if the clue is subsequently abandoned him, we need a word that means these are no longer your friends, whether they're true or false. And so let's say you convince yourself that false must work. It's got to be the only thing. It still couldn't be the answer because in sentence equivalence, one time and false, these two words, they do not create similar sentences. So if I said, oh, my one time friend, John, I haven't seen him in months. That's very different for, well, actually years. <laughs> That's very different from saying my false friend, John, I haven't seen him in years. Well, wait a second, why is he false? What did he do? Was he lying? So again, these two words aren't similar. They can't both be the answer. So again, we need a synonym for one time. But wait a second, none of these words really work, right? Well, there's, of course, there's whatever that word is. What is it, Ertwil? It's actually erstwhile. But that doesn't mean that it can't be the answer. So if nothing else works, if you've heard of, let's go through starting with B, proxy. If you've heard of this word, you think, oh yeah, if someone goes to represent someone else, they do it by proxy. You've heard this word, if it doesn't work, get rid of it. Self-styled doesn't mean one time, you can get rid of that. Surrogate, surrogate and proxy are similar words, but just because you have two synonyms does not mean that they are the answer, so you can get rid of everything, except for erstwhile, which is the answer. And so that's the way you really have to reason through this. Don't be afraid of the big bad word you don't know, but choose it if nothing else works. And of course, in the sense of equivalence, if you really can't find a pair of answers that work. So one time, erstwhile, erstwhile means former, or one time, A and E are the answers.